are you doing? You shouldn't be eating this stuff. This can give you cancer. It's not that serious. Nothing dramatic. I just read a BuzzFeed article that Nutella can give you cancer. That is not a reliable source. Let's look at something credible. <laughs> Whoa, where are we? We are on a mission to discover the truth behind Nutella. Let's go discover. Well, it seems that people are concerned with the palm oil that's in Nutella. But wait, what is palm oil? Look, it says palm oil is an edible vegetable oil obtained from the tropical plant Elaeus genesis. It flourishes in humid tropics and produces high yields when grown 10 degrees north and south of the equator. Okay, cool. So how does palm oil impact your body then? Let's do some research. It says here that palm oil contains a lot of saturated fatty acids and carotenes. I remember learning in first year biology that fat saturated fatty acids raise the cholesterol levels in your blood. Now cholesterol is integral to forming things like cell membranes in your body, but if you start consuming a lot of saturated fatty acids, it can raise your risk for cardiovascular diseases. I think I remember learning about carotenes in a chemistry class. Let's look that up. It says, carotenes are made by plants, like the African oil palm. They are what make carrots orange, but they also have been reported to help with cognition and reducing photosensitivity. It's nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't experience when consuming other nut spreads or butter. Well, if that's the case, then what's the big deal? Good point. Let's find out. It all began around May 2016, when a study conducted by the European Food Safety Authority stated that compared to other vegetable oils, palm oil is potentially more carcinogenic when refined at 200 degrees Celsius. That's when products that contain palm oil became a concern for the European food market. Nutella is a product that uses a lot of palm oil to help create the famous spreads texture and to assist with its shelf life. Ferrero, the company that produces Nutella, stated that the method through which they refined the palm oil was safe for consumption and below the 200 degrees Celsius mark. The European Food Association tried to investigate the effects of palm oil consumption, but could not find enough evidence to boycott it. Then, in December 2016, a study was conducted by the UK-based charity called Worldwide Cancer Research and published in the scientific journal called Nature. The study states that the metastatic process of the spread of cancer is heightened by fat intake. Mice given a high-fat diet, including palmitic acid, a major component of palm oil, which is found in products like Nutella, developed the most aggressive cancer spread. This study concludes that there is a relationship between high-fat intake through sources like palm oil and an increase in metastatic potential or cancer spread. Okay, well if that's the case, then should Nutella itself be banned, or is it okay to have in moderation? Let's see how much palm oil is in Nutella. Based on that, we can decide when Nutella is really that bad. Oh here, I found some information. Around 20% of Nutella is comprised of palm oil. Two tablespoons of Nutella contains about 4 grams of saturated fats, which mostly comes from the inclusion of palm oil. The main concern is found over glycidyl fatty acid esters, or GE, which form during the processing and refinement of palm oil for use in Nutella. This leads to 3-MCPD ester formation, which is identified as a possible carcinogen. A study by the EFSA panel states that our daily intake of glycerol-based fatty acids, including GE and 3-MCPD, should be at 0.8 micrograms per kilogram of body weight per day. The study performed on lab rats found that the negative health effects were a result of repeated exposure. These rats were exposed to GE and 3-MCPD at a rate above the tolerable daily intake for infants, toddlers, and other children. Toxicological information is still limited at this point, and so the best course of action is to limit daily consumption of Nutella and make it an occasional snack. Okay, so I guess Nutella isn't that bad after all, as long as you're eating it in moderation. I told you, but you doubted the greatness of Nutella, so now you don't get any. Wait, what? Come on. No. Thanks for joining us on our journey, and remember to subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel.